your birthday. We headed north to another popular city in Australia called Brisbane. It's time to head to Brisbane. The flight from Sydney to Brisbane was about an hour and a half long, and then we hopped on a train to get to our hotel. From the train ride, we began to catch a glimpse of just how beautiful Brisbane is. When we got off the train, Apple Maps showed that our hotel was less than half a mile away. So we decided to walk instead of taking an Uber. However, what IMAPS didn't show was that the walk was almost entirely uphill. This is what we looked like on the side of a busy street walking to our hotel. We checked into our hotel, had a little snack, and headed out to explore the South Bank area of Brisbane. The city of Brisbane was incredibly walkable. This is actually a footbridge that allows you to walk across the Brisbane River. One thing we noticed about Brisbane right away is in addition to beautiful cityscapes, it also has beautiful nature. The hotel was within walking distance of the city's botanical gardens. In the United States, botanical gardens usually have entry fees and usually includes displays of beautiful flowers. This botanical garden felt more like a jungle. It felt like we were walking through a dense forest and could hear all the sounds of nature. It was really beautiful and calming and crazy to think that this was right in the middle of a major city. As the sun started to set, we walked back to our hotel and got to see these beautiful lights in the banyan tree we had seen earlier. The next day we worked on some homeschool in the morning and went out to explore again in the afternoon. This time we managed to catch a glimpse of some animals in the botanical garden. And as we continued walking, we ran into a college event. This was the Queensland University of Technology. The campus was beautiful and modern and definitely a place we could see ourselves going to college. From the college campus, we just continued walking. When we saw something interesting, we followed it. There were lots of college students in the street celebrating whatever event was going on. We came across a local mall with some familiar stores, so we decided to check it out. We couldn't wait to see what Target was like in Australia. This was a bit of a surprise for us. All the clothing styles in Australia were mostly neutral colors. And here was our dad walking around in a tie-dye t-shirt all day. We still wanted to walk around though and we found some awesome deals. This was the month of March. The summer season in Australia was ending and they had all of their summer clothes on sale for $2. But that was two Australian dollars, so it was actually a dollar 45 American dollar. So needless to say, mom and dad pretty much let us buy whatever we wanted that day. When we went to go check out, we were a little surprised to see that there was absolutely no cashiers on staff. There isn't any cashiers here, so we have to do our own scan. After a little shopping spree, we continued walking until we found this adorable coffee cafe. Our afternoon wouldn't be complete without a coffee break. Now that's some coffee. And I got a matcha latte. Oh my gosh. We enjoyed a beautiful walk back to our hotel and played in the banyan trees along the way. Can I play in it? Yeah, go ahead. Banyan trees are so cool. All of this is part of one tree. Each banyan tree seems to have its own character and personality. These trees are the largest in the world in terms of the area they cover. After another fun day of exploring, we walked back through the botanical gardens, over the footbridge, and back to our hotel because we had big plans for the next day. Today we're going to the Australia Zoo. Or so we thought, instead we ran into a major roadblock. Let me explain. 
The commute from Brisbane to the Australia Zoo is about an hour and a half. We would have to take two trains and a bus ride to get to the zoo. We took a short train ride to the Central Station in Brisbane. And then we hopped on a train towards Nambour. We rode this train for about 45 minutes and got off at Kabucha Station with the intention of hopping on a bus that would take us to Beerwall where the zoo is located. However, the bus to the zoo left two minutes before we got there. The next bus wasn't scheduled to arrive for over an hour and a half. With that kind of delay, by the time we got to the zoo, it would be almost closing. So at that point, we had to make a tough decision to ride all the way back to Brisbane and try the zoo the next day. We were pretty disappointed at the time, but the next day would totally make up for the delay. Welcome to the Australia Zoo. I saw Robert Irwin today. Did you? Oh my God.